they have removed about 63,000 accounts just in Nigeria that attempted to engage in financial sexual extortion scams, mostly aimed at adult men in the United States. Now, the majority of the scammers' attempts were unsuccessful, and although mostly targeting adults, there was also there were also attempts against minors, which Meta reported to the U.S. National Center for Missing and Exploit Exploited Children, according to um, reports. Now, Meta has representatives or Meta representatives said this was not the first time. They have disrupted such networks, but added that they were disclosing the current operation to drive awareness. The social media giant has been on the defense in recent years as governments, including legislators in the U.S., where Meta is based, have ramped up pressure on it to address concerns that its executives have ignored evidence that its services harm children. Now, Nigeria in the international space a lot of countries what i'm trying to say is a lot of countries see us in this light in not in, in not so good light and this story again being out there is another way or another means whereby we will be seen in a not so good light so as a people now how can we put an end to this this situation or well, let's get your thoughts in general and then you tell us what you think we can do right now well, um, I think this is bad publicity for Nigeria as a country. Um, at a time where we are trying to launder our image both domestically and, of course, in, uh, in the international um, arena. But um, I also want to equally look at what could have even made somebody to want to, you know, take the life of crime because something must have inspired such. I'm not trying to endorse it, but let us look at the root cause. Most of our young people, what they see as a way of life now is, you know, internet scam and. You know, with situation where even parents are even encouraging their words to go into it. So for me, I think this is a call for all and sundry, the leadership and the lead. Let us see how we can, you know, reduce this bad image that has been sold outside the country. If you go outside the country today, you identify yourself as a Nigerian, you know, there's a way they look at you, you know, this, um, you know, Yahoo and all of that. So for me, it's not a good one. I, I hope that... Um, this would make us sit up and try to see how we can adjust and, you know, start doing things rightly in this country. Ambassador? Well, I think it calls for the government to look into such allegations because it has to do with the character and the integrity of uh, Nigeria as a country. And uh, most times what some uh, nations of the world have done is to see how they blackmail uh, Nigeria. There are efforts intentionally to ensure that Nigeria do not develop. Nigeria sh should not get the pride it ought to have at global economic uh, states. So, so, like so uh, well, it's possible. So, character, uh, the character assassination could be uh, responsible for that. There's so many things go goes on on global politics. So I like to feel that it's not a statement that the, pres the government of Nigeria should uh, take lightly. They should.